Welcome back everybody. First video of 2023. Been uh, hoping to get some videos done, but the snow has been pretty bad and we just got a rainstorm, took a lot of snow away. So we're going to take the chance to get out here and do a video. And today we're checking out an old abandoned airfield. Figured we get it done before it turns into a housing development because this place has grown pretty quick. The history on this place, it's a little spotty. Uh, the, there's military maps that show it in existence in the 80s and there's actually down that way is some old foundations from some tea hangers that kind of fit the par for the 80s. There's nothing for the 60s for this place. However, when you look at uh, the way everything is built and whatnot, you can definitely tell it's earlier. My father actually works at an airport and he told somebody about this place and brought him out here and they checked it out. He was really up on the airmail stuff and he was saying this was from the airmail stuff. It's an old airmail airport. And when you look at the, the architecture and how everything was built, it definitely looks the par. It fits the par for that. The, the electrical, the wood they used, the way it was built, I can see it being pretty early. So I was thinking maybe the reason it's on the maps in the 80s for the military is because it was in use at the other end with those hangars and not so it wasn't in use earlier than that when they were making the map so it wasn't put on there. And of course in the 30s or when they were doing the airmail stuff, the military wasn't around doing that stuff, making maps, they weren't there so there's no record of it. So I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is an old airmail airport and I will say this is going to be part one. There's also an airmail beacon here pretty close that we were hoping to include in this video, but we're not going to get to it today. So that's going to be a part two video, probably a shorter video, but it will go along with this one. And you can just see even the lumber dimensions, the way it's cut, it's earlier stuff. The way they did the mortar in there. And those are some big timbers, look at that. No, no trespassing signs here. I, I'm pretty sure it's private property and it, it looks to be sort of taken care of. It's not all vandalized except for the graffiti on the front, but uh, I'm, I'm Pretty sure it's, unless it gets, what do you want to say, memorialized or whatever, taken care of more and, and protected, it's going to turn into houses eventually. And it was nice at the house and you get here and it's a little breezy and it's just enough to make it cold. plywood came out oh, that was in the 30s but who knows it looks early even look at this structure if this was first on the map in the 80s that doesn't look like an 80s structure I think last time we were in here, there was stuff in here. Yeah, all of this, we were here a lot too long ago. Oh, probably six months. All this wood in here was like the ceiling, you know, between the ceiling or like where the attic would be. And it was, it was all hanging down in here. Somebody took it out and kind of cleaned it up a little bit. That's cool. That's good to see. It'd be nice if they would have nailed it back up, but either way. And they had a stove over here. Old Wayne's coat over there, that's cool. Cloth insulation. I think I thought there was a door last time too, I don't remember.
survey stick. Well, maybe they'll be getting rid of it. All right. I didn't think about bringing the flashlight, so we'll see how good it goes inside. There's really nothing inside, but it, it's cool looking uh, the way they built it. That looks a little newer. I thought there was cloth wrapped wiring. I don't remember. If you've ever seen the movie Always, this is what it makes me think of. Or this makes me think of that movie when he goes in the, the old airfield when it's in the dust storm. Oh yeah, there we go. That's definitely older. And all it is in here is just bird poop everywhere. Concrete floor. Hopefully it's not too dark in here. I don't want to waste too much time walking around if the video doesn't come out in here, so. I thought there was a light up on top last time. But... With the door used to open right here, it's all, somebody's got it shut so it doesn't, like screwed shut so it doesn't fall, which is nice. Track for the, the door. So, cool spot. I want to get a video before it's, it's no longer here. And definitely look out for part two for the beacon. That'll won't be super long either, but it's cool. It would be cool to see that. I have yet to go up there myself. So, so anyways, that's the uh, abandoned airmail airport, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.